Okay, next on the list is, let me see. Uh, yeah, the Plenar. The speakers I uh, work with uh, the last uh, few uh, months. Uh, so, like uh, Magnapan and such. If we look, we make a top side drawing again. We got this uh, metal plate. And it has holes and stuff and such, but that doesn't really matter. And then we got these magnets, and they're like uh, something like this, I think. Okay, this gap shouldn't be that big, but you got the idea. Now, north and south is like this. So, let's make a like a sort of zoomed in view of this this particular magnet because I cannot draw that small so here is south here is north the next magnet oh drop my pen it's gonna be like this and it's gonna be the other way around etc etc it's gonna be the same all over again but what happens now uh, the south and north on this side are connected by this uh, metal plate which makes the magnets that are sitting on top of there a little bit stronger that's the reason why there is metal and what happens now is that the magnetic field goes like this from this side to this side so it's in this gap in between the magnets it's a little bit different than uh, the ribbon but still the basics are the same of course so this is the top view if you look at the front then we have uh, these rubber magnets and we look at the front now uh, and then we uh, see that this one, this is the front by the way, F, <laughs> uh, is north facing, this is where we f we are here, <laughs> north, south, north, south. And the conductor is running like this. Boop. Bang. Now, if we you, oh, if we use our uh, hand again, this is the direction of the current in between these magnets here. Then this pointing this this way is uh, the magnetic field, as seen here. And this, my thumb, is the direction. So if we look at this front. Thing, the miner will move towards us or away from us but that's the direction it moves so that's the planar or oops, planar magnetic I write really well I cannot live without uh, grammatic, uh, well, the Google Translate thingy. Well, it's not the translate, it's, it's more of a, well, whatever. So that's the planar magnetic, uh, as seen in uh, Magnapan and uh, in the speakers I made in the last videos. Um, so, still pretty basic. Oh, well, I can explain push pull uh, when, when we're at it. Uh, push pull. Uh, would be the same as this but then we had so if this is the metal and the magnets we got some metal here as well and some magnets and then here lives the uh, inductors and of course 
they are on a mylar piece of foil. That's a perfectly fine drawing. Now, if we got the same as here, north here, south, north, south, the thing is, you would expect well, at least that was my uh, suspicion, I think, uh, 10 years ago, I don't know why, but I thought, well, then probably here is south, but actually it is not. And uh, when you think of it, it's quite clear why it's not, but... So they're exactly the same. What they'll do, they will uh, push, push each other uh, away, these plates. But in this case, if you do it like this, the field will be the same, and the, also the direction of the magnetic field will be the same. And if you use the right hand rule again, uh, you will end up with um, the mylar moving in the same direction as the single version. And the push-pull one uh, does the same, of course. Uh, so, uh, thicker metal could be, um, might be necessary because it's gonna bend a little bit like this because these magnets don't want to be together you force them to but it doubles the magnetic field also it becomes more linear because if the conductor moves away from the magnet it now kind of ends up closer to another set of magnets so this is a better way than the single-ended version this is of course uh, way cheaper than the push-pull version like exactly twice twice as cheap. But that's the planner. So, uh, yeah, I think uh, it's rather uh, doable, although I still have to think about it. Thank God. <laughs>